Hello friends and welcome to Holy Land Connection. My name is Ronnie Espanoli. In today's connection we have a special guest who is the Secretary of the Association of Baptist Churches in Israel, Mr. Badr Mansour. Good morning Brother Badr. Morning. Uh, first of all, before we start talking about this interesting subject, uh, tell us a little bit about the location. We are, where are we right now in Nazareth? Yes, we are located uh, right now in the middle of uh, the old city of Nazareth, a few meters uh, from the first location where the Baptist ministry began here around 100 years ago. Wow, 100 years ago. This is a lot of history, brothers. Uh, so let's, uh, let's hear from Badr a little bit about your ministry in Association Baptist Churches. Yes, I serve as the secretary of the association. We are a group of uh, around 20 churches, uh, most of them Arabic-speaking churches here in the Holy Land, mainly around Nazareth and the Galilee, different uh, cities and towns in Galilee, like uh, Cana of Galilee, Turan, Ailabun, Rama, uh, Akko, Haifa. Uh, so uh, we are uh, around 3,000, three uh, community of around 3,000 people serving, trying to be salt and light in the middle of uh, this country. Um, Tell us a little bit background about the history of the Baptists so far in Israel, where it began. Yes, yes the beginning took place in May 10, 1911, when uh, a man by the name of Shukri Musa baptized his nephew, his name was Louis Hanna, in a place called uh, Wadi al Laymun, which is a river that goes down from uh, a city called Safad into the Jordan River. Uh, the story goes a little bit before, two years ago, Shukri Musa went to America and uh, was uh, selling uh, souvenirs from the Holy Land in Texas. He ended up in Waco, Texas. He got to know some Baptists over there, became uh, converted, uh, became a follower of Christ, and was baptized into the fellowship of the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas. He was baptized by George W. Truett, and then he was sent back as a missionary to serve among his people in the Holy Land. He first came to, to this city of Safad, which is in the north of Israel today, uh, city, what's mentioned in the Bible as city set upon the hill. Uh, began his ministry there, baptized his, fir his first convert in 1911. And then he moved to Nazareth uh, uh, around a year after and began the ministry in this exact location where we stand here, uh, a home ministry. Wow, this is a lot of history indeed. And um, we heard from you that there's a celebration coming in next year. Tell us a little bit about uh, the celebration. Yes. Yes, next year we celebrate 100 years, and this is a, a big uh, celebration for us. Uh, we are going to uh, have a, a weekend of celebrations in May, between May 10 and 12, uh, May 10 and uh, 11 and 12, 2011. And uh, believers and uh, friends of, uh, of the Baptist community in Israel are all invited to come and celebrate with us the faithfulness of God and how, uh, the goodness of God and how He has, has saved this ministry in the last hundred years. Oh, this is really great and it's coming soon, my friends. Uh, so, uh, Badr, I want you to say something to our viewers, how they, how they can get connected to the Baptists in the Holy Land. Well, the Baptists in uh, Israel are, as I said, mainly Arabic-speaking uh, followers of Christ. It's a very tiny minority of, uh, we, we call it the 2% of the 2%. 2% of Israel is Christians and 2% of the Christians are Baptists. So we're a really small, tiny minority here, uh, trying to be uh, sincere followers of Christ, tell the good news to the people around us in the midst of all what's going on here with the, uh, with the political situation that's unstable, mm -hmm. with the being pressured by being a minority among the Jews and among the Muslims. And, uh, but God has been good to us. So uh, the way you can connect with us is tr you know, try to, to visit a, a a Baptist or an evangelical church, when you visit the Holy Land, try to connect to local believers, uh, visit them, uh, pray for them, give, let them feel that they are not alone in this world, that they are, there are other people working in the same work of winning people to Christ, encouraging people. Uh, it, it feels lonely sometimes. Wow, it feels lonely sometimes, and uh, this is really something very important for you, my friends, to hear from a representative of the Baptist in here in the country. So we'd like to hear from you, and now you get a, an idea how to get connected with the Baptist work in Israel. So we'd like to hear from you, and also you can hear from Badr Mansour as we're going to show you the website, how you can be involved with the Baptists. Thank you, my friends, for logging for today's segment, and God bless you. Salam al-Masih.